So here we have the Fiskars Brush X, the Hungulus from Jeff Randall. And on bottom is a custom from Andrew Takash. Sweep down and check them out again. Now, all of these are basically the same class with some rather interesting differences. The Takash has a thicker blade, dropped handle. The Brush X has a very thin blade and that little curvature uh, at the top and there's also handle differences. So you can see in the surrounding area we got lots of deadfall scattered all over the place. I need to take that, clean it up, make a little lay out of it and I think I'll use this to make the lay. It's a quite a rotted piece of deadfall. Stack it all up so when the time comes I'll have a nice little pile to burn and there's also some thicker wood that you can see right there that needs to be cut up as well. So there's the front of the lay put together with the brush axe. Nice thing about that is the hook on the bottom of the brush axe is very nice to dig into this, move it around, get it off the ground, keep your hands uh, free from it, which isn't a big of an issue now, but I mean think about in the fall when it gets wet, when it gets damp, you don't want your hands getting wet, sucks the heat out of you, and this allows you to do a lot of the work without that. So this will be the lay or the back of the stand for wood which will keep the rest of the wood off the ground and let it dry out without rotting like this is. A couple of things that stands out right away. The hook on the end of the handle is really nice because it allows you to use the whole length of the handle as an extension. A couple of fingers gripped around the end of that handle and all of a sudden you have the full length of that uh, as an extension. So it gives you a lot of reach. The other thing, that hook is really nice for moving wood around. Picking it up off the ground, even moving it in around some of the trees, it's a really nice advantage to have and it speeds up the work uh, quite significantly. As you can see, I wrap the handle. That's just a tennis tape over wrap because the handle itself gets quite slick if you sweat or even if it's a bit misty or raining out. So a couple of really nice uh, advantages to that and one bit of a problem which is the slick handle which can easily be fixed with a bit of an over wrap. So here's the Hunglas and the Fiskars and a couple of things that stand out right away. The Fiskars is longer and again that hook on the end of the handle allows you to grip right around the end of the handle which basically means it's that much longer again because you don't have the same level of security on the handle of the hunglus because it's not flared the same way. You can see two of them right there. So the Fiskars brush axe is much longer which means there's less stooping, there's less bending, there's less moving around. The hook on the bottom of it makes a grip extension again so you can actually use that as an extension of your hand. So in general for this type of work, there's no comparison. I'd rather take the Fiskars. It's much easier to gather this wood because of the extra reach, which is compounded not only by the length of the actual tool, you can see which is significantly longer, but because it's flared at the end, it makes it that much longer again. And the top curb that all build hooks sort of have, again, gives you that grip extension. However, the Hunglus does have an advantage on work like this. See those really hard limbs on the trees? When you're clearing them with the two tools, let's have a look, you can see that the blade on the hunglus is much thicker and it has a full grind which reduces the weight so you don't end up with it being you know like a club. So that thicker stock makes the blade much stiffer. When you're cutting really hard wood like that, those little limbs with the Fiskars, you get a lot of vibration due to the thinner blade. And after a while you start to feel that in your hands, just a constant vibration. You don't get that with the Hunglus. So what I would do if I had the two of these is I'd go around with the Hunglus, I'd cut off all the limbs on all these trees, clean all that up, and then I'd use the Fiskars to actually clean up 
all this small wood because of the reach, because of the hook, and because of the handle extension. So they're two very different tools. Now, of course, there's much more of a comparison between the two of these than just what I'm doing here. The Fiskars is very difficult to use as a knife uh, for a lot of work, and the Hungless isn't. But just looking at this type of work, that's the main things that stand out right away. The Hungless, because the blade is thicker, it's much stiffer, but the full grind, which goes to a nice and relatively thin edge. Now you can see I've modified the edge here, and I've modified the edge here, but in the middle it still has the same profile it had uh, as boxed. So the high grind gives it an efficient cutting ability, and a thick stock makes it much stiffer, so it can handle that hard wood chopping without the kind of excess vibration you get from the Fiskars. So, so there's the Takash. Now you can see it almost has the length of the Fiskars, so it has that reach. It has a thick blade stock like the Hungless, so it can cut the hard limbs with no problem. The only thing that it lacks is that end hook at the bottom, which again gives you a lot of ability to move around wood. But it is much superior, and you can see the big thick piece of wood there behind it that was cut with the Takash. So the Takash is much superior in the harder woods, in the thicker woods, than the Fiskars. And the Fiskars just has that advantage in mobility due to the tip. So if I was using one of these in general, I'd pick the Takash relatively easily. The only time I would pick the Fiskars was when I wasn't going to do any thick chopping and I wasn't really going to do any limbing. Again, work like that. And if the only thing I was mainly going to be doing is cleaning up, see, all this little scrub brush, all that kind of stuff there, the Fiskars is really nice for that because that hook allows you to get down, lift them up, move them around uh, much easier. So, little pile of work, that's about 50 small sticks with uh, three knives, about an hour's work. Uh, it should only take about a half an hour, but uh, I was switching around knives, making some notes. But you can see, it doesn't take much. And you end up with quite a nice little stack of wood. So like I said, that's only about a half hour's work in situations like this where you have an abundance of deadfall. You can see that's just all over the place. And that's really common in high ingrowth areas like this, which do not have a lot of light. Because what happens is all these little trees start to grow up, and then they just fall over because the soil capacity here is really low. Because it's mainly mossy ground, so they blow over really quickly. So you can see this one's starting to come over right now. So you end up with the uh, forest floor just littered with all this wood 